Negative differential resistance, NDR, is a fascinating and somewhat counterintuitive phenomenon observed in certain electronic devices. In most electronic components, when you increase the voltage, the current also increases following Ohm's law. However, in devices exhibiting NDR, there is a specific range of voltage where increasing the voltage actually causes the current to decrease. This unusual behavior challenges our conventional understanding of how electronic components should work, and it opens up exciting opportunities for novel circuit applications. Imagine you're at a water park, and you expect that pushing more water through a slide will make it flow faster. In most cases, that's true. The more pressure you apply, the faster the water moves. Now imagine if after a certain point, adding more pressure made the water flow slower. That's similar to what happens in an NDR device. As you keep increasing the voltage or pressure, you reach a region where the current or water flow actually drops. Can you think of any other systems where more input unexpectedly leads to less output? The phenomenon of NDR is often explored in research experiments involving semiconductor devices like tunnel diodes and gun diodes. In a tunnel diode, for instance, electrons can tunnel through a very thin barrier between two layers of semiconductor material. This quantum mechanical effect creates a unique current voltage IV characteristic. The current increases with voltage up to a peak point, but then as the voltage continues to rise, the current decreases, creating a region of negative differential resistance. Researchers study these devices to understand the underlying quantum mechanics and to develop components that can be used in high speed and high frequency applications. In experimental research, scientists carefully measure the IV characteristics of these devices. They plot voltage against current and look for the N-shaped curve that signifies the presence of NDR. This region is where the differential resistance, the rate at which the current changes with voltage, becomes negative. Such measurements not only confirm theoretical predictions, but also help in refining the design of electronic circuits. How might this kind of behavior be useful in creating new types of oscillators or amplifiers? One compelling example of the practical use of NDR is in the design of high-frequency oscillators. Oscillators are devices that generate repetitive signals and are crucial in applications like radio transmitters and signal processors. The unique IV characteristic of an NDR device can be harnessed to produce stable oscillations at frequencies that are difficult to achieve with conventional components. This is why researchers are continually exploring NDR in various materials and structures. It holds the promise of pushing the boundaries of current electronic technology. Overall, NDR is a powerful reminder that the world of electronics can sometimes defy our everyday intuitions. It illustrates how quantum effects and novel material properties can be exploited to create devices with unusual and highly useful characteristics. Have you ever encountered a situation in your studies or experiments where the results defied your expectations? Exploring these anomalies can lead to breakthroughs in both theory and application. Quantum tunneling in NDR occurs when electrons traverse a potential barrier despite insufficient classical energy resulting in a non-intuitive drop in current at certain voltage levels. This behavior is observed in devices like resonant tunneling diodes where electron wave functions overlap across thin barriers. The effect creates a unique region on the IV curve where increasing voltage leads to decreased current due to the precise alignment required for tunneling. In resonant tunneling diodes, experiments show that at specific voltage intervals, the tunneling probability peaks and then declines, causing the current to drop. This phenomenon is like a secret passage that only opens when conditions are just right. If the conditions shift even slightly, the passage closes and fewer people can get through. RTD's display NDR, when the quantum well's discrete energy levels align perfectly with the energy of incoming electrons, allowing a surge in current that abruptly falls off as the alignment is lost. The phenomenon is rooted in the wave nature of electrons and the resonant condition that permits tunneling. This sensitive dependence on energy alignment results in a peak followed by a valley in the device's current voltage characteristic in laboratory experiments RTDs exhibit a sharp peak current followed by a rapid drop as the applied voltage shifts away from the resonant condition. This behavior is similar to tuning a musical instrument to a perfect note. 
If the pitch shifts even slightly, the harmony is lost and the sound level decreases dramatically. Avalanche breakdown can induce NDR when charge carriers, accelerated by high electric fields, collide with atoms and generate additional carriers, which initially increases current but eventually disrupts conduction pathways. The resulting chaotic carrier multiplication creates regions where increased voltage paradoxically leads to a decrease in effective current. This interplay of ionization and recombination within the material gives rise to a non-linear IV characteristic typical of NDR behavior. Experiments with semiconductor diodes have shown that beyond a threshold voltage, the avalanche process causes a transient surge in current that quickly falls as the breakdown mechanism dominates. This process is akin to a chain reaction in a forest fire. Initially, the flames spread rapidly, but once the available fuel is exhausted in a particular area, the intensity diminishes despite continued ignition. In low-dimensional systems such as quantum wires or graphene nanoribbons, quantum confinement leads to discrete energy states that critically influence electron transport. As voltage changes, these systems may transition between conductive and non-conductive states, producing a peak current followed by a decline characteristic of NDR. The confined pathways restrict electron flow in a manner that deviates from classical behavior, highlighting the quantum mechanical nature of these materials. Research experiments with graphene nanoribbons have demonstrated that as the bias voltage is varied, the current exhibits a maximum before decreasing, confirming the presence of NDR. This is similar to traffic on a narrow bridge, where the availability of only a few lanes means that a small change in vehicle numbers can suddenly cause a traffic jam, reducing the overall flow. Thermal energy influences NDR by affecting carrier mobility and scattering rates within semiconductor devices. As temperature increases, the enhanced latticed vibrations can modify the energy alignment necessary for tunneling, thereby shifting or suppressing the NDR region. This delicate balance between thermal agitation and quantum effects underpins the temperature-dependent behavior observed in many NDR experiments. Temperature-dependent IV measurements on semiconductor devices reveal that a moderate rise in temperature can either enhance or reduce the NDR region depending on the material's intrinsic properties. It is like the viscosity of honey changing with temperature. A slight warming can either make it flow more easily or disrupt its smooth movement depending on its composition. Self-heating arises in electronic devices when the power dissipated as heat affects the local temperature, altering the material's conductive properties. In NDR devices, this local temperature rise can shift energy levels or enhance scattering, leading to a reduction in current despite an increase in voltage. The interplay between electrical power and thermal dynamics creates a feedback loop that influences the overall IV behavior. Experimental observations in certain diodes reveal that under high bias conditions, the self-heating effect causes a noticeable drop in current consistent with NDR behavior. This is similar to a car engine that overheats during prolonged high-speed driving, where the rising temperature eventually degrades performance despite the driver pressing harder on the accelerator. Quantum confinement in nanostructures forces electrons into quantized energy levels, significantly affecting their transport properties under an applied voltage. As voltage increases, misalignment between these discrete levels can lead to a drop in current, creating a region of NDR, the phenomenon underscores how nanoscale dimensions bring out unique quantum mechanical effects that differ from bulk behavior. Studies on quantum dots have shown that the discrete energy levels can be tuned with voltage, resulting in distinct current peaks followed by declines, a signature of NDR. <laughs> <clears throat> this behavior is analogous to trying to step on a series of small, precisely spaced stepping stones across a river. If one stone is out of place, the journey becomes much more difficult, slowing down the overall progress. In molecular electronics, individual molecules act as electronic components where the alignment of molecular orbitals with electrode energy levels is critical for conduction. When an applied voltage disrupts this delicate alignment, the current can decrease even as the voltage increases, manifesting as NDR. This phenomenon highlights the intricate balance between molecular structure and electronic properties at the nanoscale.
Experiments with single molecule junctions have demonstrated that as the voltage passes a critical threshold, the misalignment of orbitals leads to a significant drop in conductance. It is like a drawbridge that only permits passage when perfectly aligned. A slight shift in its angle prevents cars from crossing smoothly, thus reducing the overall flow of traffic. Non-linear IV characteristics are a hallmark of many semiconductor devices where a region exists in which increased voltage results in decreased current, a direct manifestation of NDR. This behavior arises from complex interactions between charge carriers, energy level alignments, and scattering mechanisms that defy simple linear models. The non-linearity provides critical insights into the quantum mechanical and thermal dynamics at play within these systems. Detailed measurements of IV curves in various semiconductor structures reveal a clear peak and subsequent valley in current, confirming the existence of a negative differential resistance region. This phenomenon is akin to a roller coaster. The track climbs steadily to a peak before suddenly plunging down, illustrating a dramatic yet controlled change in dynamics.